Moscow has vowed to retaliate after Ukrainian missile and drone attacks killed at least 14 people in the southern Russian city of Belgorod. Russia's defense ministry says a dozen rockets were destroyed over the region. The strikes came a day after a huge Russian barrage across Ukraine killed at least 39 civilians. Shock and disbelief. The daytime assault set off air raid sirens, sending people into the streets. Russia says the attack hit a residential area. The Kremlin reported shooting down dozens of Ukrainian drones and rockets as far away as the Moscow region. The city of Belgorod is just 30 kilometers from the Ukrainian border and has been shelled before. Kyiv usually doesn't claim responsibility for attacks on Russian territory, but previous heavy Russian assaults on Ukrainian cities have been followed by strikes against Russia. On Friday, Russian forces launched more than 100 missile and drone attacks on cities across Ukraine, like here in Odessa. Ukraine has described it as the biggest aerial barrage since the start of the war almost two years ago. Russia drew sharp criticism at a United Nations Security Council meeting. Mr. President, tragically 2023 is ending as it began with devastating violence against the people of Ukraine. Once again, Ukrainians are forced to spend holidays seeking shelter, clearing the rubble and burying the dead amidst freezing temperatures. Russia has now requested a Security Council meeting about the strikes on Belgorod, calling it a terrorist attack and saying it will not go unpunished. Kyiv has reported additional Russian drone attacks on Ukrainian soil. For more on Russia's massive aerial assault on Ukraine on Friday, I asked Domitila Sakramorso, a security analyst at King's College London, what this says about Russia's capacity to rearm. Well, what it actually showed was that uh, Russia was ready to use a lot of the missiles and uh, the um, uh, sort of cruise and, and um, ballistic missiles as well as drones that it had produced over the last years, year in particular, and that it was ready really to um, make a show of force. What this also indicates is that, um, you know, it shows that the Russians actually have revamped uh, their industrial capacity very much over the last two years. This began very soon after the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, uh, when Russia, uh, the, the Russian leadership, uh, together with uh, loyal oligarchs, decided to sort of um, start setting up uh, the Russian economy on a war footing. And already last year, we saw Russia using missiles that were produced in 2022. So this should not come as a surprise. Uh, I think that um, the Russians uh, seem ready to uh, invest very much on defense spending, uh, which is expected to increase about 70% in 2024. Um, they, this would represent over 6 or 6.5% 6 of uh, Russia's um, output, uh, GDP output. And, uh, and, and uh, the defense spending is intended to be around between 35-40% of overall defense spending. So I think that the Russians, you know, clearly are ready to uh, continue with this uh, war and to be ready to achieve some of their objectives. Uh, so that that is really what is showing what is what Russia is attempting to achieve, I think, is to sort of uh, send a message to the West that, uh, you know, there is no point in rearming Ukraine or helping Ukraine because Russia has a capability to hit very effectively and hardly uh, on a massive scale if necessary.